Today's video is about binomial distribution. When the data is uh, discrete, the number of uh, observations uh, n is uh, fixed. Each observation has two outcomes, success or failure. Then you can use a binomial distribution. Notation. Random variable x follows binomial distribution with the n number of trials and a p probability of success. We have a binomial PDF and a binomial CDF. Binomial PDF means one random variable x takes an exact value a. Binomial CDF means when the random variable x is less than or equal to the value a. Remember for binomial CDF, the corresponding inequality symbol is less than or equal to. In other words, you have to change the probability into random variable x less than or equal to a before using graphing calculator. For example, probability of x less than a, you need to change into probability x less than or equal to a minus 1, then put it into graphing calculator like this. Probability of x greater than or equal to a, you need to change it into 1 minus the probability of x less than or equal to a minus 1. 1 minus by norm CDF. N P A minus 1. For probability of for x greater than a, you will turn into 1 minus probability x less than or equal to a. For probability of for x greater than or equal to a less than or equal to b, you will use uh, this formula. Think about you have uh, 0, 1, 2. Then you have a minus 1, a, b minus 1, b, x greater than or equal to a less than or equal to b. It's uh, these uh, values. So we can write down probability of x less than or equal to b minus the probability x less than or equal to a minus 1. For probability of x greater than a less than b means the value from a plus 1 to b minus 1. That's the reason we do probability of x less than or equal to b minus 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to a. Specific example, fewer than 5, we will write down probability of x less than 5. That equal to probability of x less than or equal to 4. Probability of x is no less than 8, which means probability of x greater than or equal to 8. We can write down 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 7. Expect the value of a binomial distribution is n times p. Expected the value also called mean. Variance is n times p times 1 minus p. For standard deviation, sigma equals the square root n times p times 1 minus p. We do know variance equals sigma squared. 
Let's go to question two. A polygraph test is used to determine whether people are telling the truth or not, but it is not completely accurate. When a person tells the truth, they have a 20% chance of failing the test. Test outcome is independent of any previous test outcome. 10 people take a polygraph test and all 10 tell the truth. Calculate the expected number of people who will pass this polygraph test. First of all, you need to decide the distribution. We know the data is discrete. It's about people discrete data, and uh, there are two outcomes. One is uh, failing the test, the other is uh, passing the test. This is a binomial distribution, n equals uh, 10, probability of uh, failing the test equals uh, 20% which means 0 0.2. Calculate the expected number of people who will pass the polygraph test. This formula is given in the booklet. Expected number equals n times p. Remember, this is a passing, not a feeling. Equals 10 times 1 minus 0 0.2 equals 8. Let's go to B. Calculate the probability that exactly 4 people will fill this polygraph test. Exactly four people, we got to use a binomial PDF. Two marks means we have one mark for method. How to interpret this probability you are looking for is the method mark. Probability x equals four. You can go to calculator directly. You don't have to write down binomial PDF here. Fill this uh, polygraph uh, test means the probability of uh, filling the test uh, is uh, 0 0.2. So we go to binomial PDF. Enter. Trials is uh, 10 probability of uh, failing is uh, 0 0.2. X value is uh, 4. 0 0.0881. Let's go to C. Determine the probability that fewer than 7 people will pass uh, this uh, polygraph uh, test. What kind of uh, probability we are looking for? Probability of x less than 7. That equals probability of x less than or equal to 6. Probability of uh, passing the test equals 0 0.8. We got to use the uh, binomial CDF. So go to calculator second distribution by norm CDF. Enter. Trial is a 10. Probability of for passing the test is 0 0.8. X value. It's a 6. 
enter. Answer is a 0 0.121. Let's go to D. Determine the probability that uh, no less than five uh, people will fill this uh, polygraph test. Probability of uh, X greater than or equal to five. That equals one minus probability of uh, X less than five equals one minus probability of x less than or equal to four. We need a probability of filling this polygraph test. So probability of filling the test equals 0 0.2. Then we go to by normal CDF, 10, 0 0.2, 4, enter. Get 0 0.967206, then use 1 minus this. The answer is 0 0.0328. Let's go to E. Determine the probability that between 2 and 8 people, including 2 and 8 people, will pass this uh, polygraph test. Probability of uh, passing the test equals 0 0.8. We are looking for the probability x greater than or equal to 2, less than or equal to 8. Let's write down 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Highlighted numbers are the values. Therefore, we will use probability of x less than or equal to 8 minus the probability of x less than or equal to 1. Go to binom CDF. 10. Probability of passing is 0 0.8. 8. Then subtract by norm CDF. X value is 1. Answer is 0 0.624. For this question, you have to be very careful of probability of uh, success. Sometimes it's a probability of uh, failing. Sometimes it's a probability of uh, passing. You have to read uh, the question carefully.